Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here again with another video showing you guys how to do your own service job cleaning your fan if you're running uh, over is overheating and is lagging or let's say if it shuts down suddenly after a few minutes. And this laptop is a HP G4. one two five zero that's the exact model number first thing first you want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover and remove the cover for the service and remove the three screws at the bottom of the battery in order to remove the battery which i have already removed is just by pulling this trigger to the right or left side there's only one way anyway let's go ahead and remove these two screws for the cover I already removed all the screws, so to remove the cover, just pick it up on one side and pull it up. That's the pretty much cover for the RAM and the hard drive and Wi Fi. All right, next, you want to just unplug the hard drive and remove your hard drive. To unplug the hard drive, you want to pull this. this cable out towards the ceiling. Don't pull it to the sides, just pull it out and you're going to disconnect the cable. Next, you want to lift the hard drive from one side and there you have it. That will be your hard drive. Put that to one side. Next, you want to remove the Wi-Fi. There is only one screw holding it on, on one side. Remove that and then in 45 degree angle, pull it out. Unplug the cables. All right, next, remove the screws at the bottom side of the cover, which is one right there, 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 and the keyboard is screw right over there. I think I didn't zoom in. Right, let me show you again. There was one over there, there, and two under the hard drive. Once you remove everything, you want to pull out the CD-ROM slowly, but I would not recommend you just yank it out because you're going to break the plastic cover just like this one is already broken. The proper way is just put your screwdriver right there and just push it towards outside and the CD-ROM is going to come out. Once we have that removed, you want to flip over. You want to remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, I usually use a guitar pick to just put to remove the locks. There are like a one, two, three, four, five locks on the top side of the keyboard. Just grab your guitar pick, put it in between there, and just wiggle it around. And with the other hand, just hold it, and it will come out. And just do the sides. And lift up your keyboard slowly and there's a ribbon cable that goes into it already disconnected you have to lift it up this flap thing and unplug the ribbon cable as you can see i haven't cleaned anything it's really dirty you want to clean your keyboard the bottom side remove all those dirt cat hair whatever you have now Next, you want to unplug the ribbon cable for the power on, which is right there. Remove the ribbon cable for the mouse and the touchpad and the side USBs. Once you remove those, you're going to put your finger to one side of the laptop. I normally put it on this side. I just lift it up. And you can see slowly it's going to separate on the bottom side. Let me zoom out. Just put your thumb there. Once you got it, lift up a little bit. Put the guitar pick in between. Right there. Just wiggle it around. There you go. Do the same thing 
don't know why it's not focusing right there. Same thing to the other side. Alright, now you can go ahead and lift up the top cover. Just carefully go ahead, take it outside and clean it outside. If I flip it over and you can see the power on button right there. And the mouse clicks, touchpad, and the rest. Next down here, here is the fan. You can see it's really dirty up here. You want to disconnect the cable for the ribbon cable for the screen. Just let it zoom in. Just pull this cable up, it's really hard, and then there you go. Right, once you remove that, you want to remove the cable for the USB, I mean for the DVD ROM right there. The same as your hard drive cable, just pull up, it's a SATA cable. Disconnect the speakers. Just unhook the left speaker right there. Put that to the side. Unhook this cable right there. I think this is the light. LED lights. Just unhook that. And we're gonna remove this screw to one side on the bottom side. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. There we go. Now, right this on this end that we disconnected the USB cable, there's a power jack cable right there. We have to unhook that one up. So we slowly go ahead and pull that out and lift up the motherboard this side up to first. And then, there you go. Now you can see actually there's a, like a whole bunch of dust. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna clean this one up, vacuum, air clean, whatever you wanna do here. Just clean the case. Let's flip over the motherboard. As you can see, this motherboard doesn't have does not have a GPU installed nor GPU VRAMs. It has a south and north the north bridge. It does have a CPU and um, APU built in right there. So go ahead and disconnect the fan from the jack right there. And next, we're gonna unscrew the heatsink. If you want, you can go ahead and remove the RAM just by pulling these two clips sideways in 45 degree angle. Just pull it out. And you can clean your RAM if you want. All right, let's go ahead and remove the heatsink. Alright, now you can flip it over. There you have the old thermal paste. You want to remove this old thermal paste and clean the, your CPU, which is built in. Alright, let's put this motherboard. We can clean the motherboard with a brush, something with the air, whatever you like. We're going to repaste it in a minute. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to grab this heatsink and we're going to remove this plastic tape right there. We're gonna trash this, we don't need it. Alright, this is the important part. We're gonna remove the two screws at the bottom side of the heatsink. So go ahead and find your screwdriver right there. Remove the screw right there. And one right there. I'm gonna zoom in on this one so you guys can see. Now we're gonna flip it over. Uh, you can't remove it because there's a kind of clips here. You have to unclip this ones from the side. And then you can go ahead and remove it. Wow. 
This is what I'm talking about. Um, people say like, uh, okay, I can vacuum clean. You cannot vacuum clean this through the vents. It's gonna get it stuck in between the fans, and that's it. You can't blow air and just expect that for some reason you're gonna clean everything. All this disgusting. You're gonna clean everything. Zagaf. Humongous. This is about being about what? A year of ooze use. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go ahead and clean the whole heat sink with a toothbrush, with an alcohol, we're gonna clean the fan and we're gonna remove the old thermal paste. Alright, now that we clean up the heat sink, this is just a clean version of the heat sink. We remove all the dust. Clean up the fan. Now we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste down here. Just rub it with an alcohol. Remove the old thermal paste. And that's it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it back together. Grab the fan. Put it in place, flip it over, and put the, the screws back in. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the CPU, we're gonna apply the thermal paste on the CPU, but before that we're gonna clean the CPU too. There we go. And I always use my Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste for better result. So just always grab the Arctic Silver 5, they're really good. Alright. Once we got that in, now let me zoom back out. We're gonna put the heat sink back on. And we're gonna put all the four screws. And always make sure that you put the fan back in the cable. Most people always forget it. And I go ahead and put the RAM right now. In order if you put the RAM in, put it in 45 degree angle. Push in, and that's it. Now, grab your motherboard, put the fan side down first. Make sure you don't forget these cables underneath. Pull them to a side, pull this cable to one side. All right. Now you want to connect the cable for the power jack, cable, right there, and also connect the, let me see if I can show you guys, ribbon cable for the extra USB port. Right there, and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna plug in the jack for the LCD right there. Just push in the jack for the DVD ROM, and then LED lights, the power light. And where did I put? Okay. I use tweezers to do this sometimes. Put that ribbon right there, close it up. Grab your left speaker right there, put it in place. Plug in the jack. There we go. You have to put the screw on the this side. Or put the screw on the bottom side where the speaker is. Right there. Next, we're gonna grab the top cover. 
I already cleaned it as much as I could. Put it on top and just snap the sides gently and the top side. You want to hear those click sound. Next, you want to plug in the ribbon cable for power switch, a ribbon cable for a power a mouse pad and the mouse click and that's it now we're gonna grab the, the keyboard run your fingertips over the cable ribbon cable right there left of the connector pull the ribbon underneath once you have it right underneath just close it put the bottom side of the keyboard in first and push the side, push the top, make sure you hear those clicks. And that's all about it. Now you're gonna close the laptop lid, flip it over. Go ahead and put the CD ROM, DVD ROM in, just push it in all the way in. Grab your Wi Fi port in 45 degree angle, just push it down. Using your tweezers, grab the cable, put it on top with your other finger, just push it down. Same thing, put it there. Now you gotta put one screw right there, that should be a very small screw. Right there. Now what are we going to do, we're going to go ahead and put all the screws that we removed from the bottom side, everything, even includes, including the two, three on the bottom here, and the three on the bottom side of the battery. So go ahead and put all those screws in. Alright, so now that we have all the screws in, you're gonna grab your hard drive, you're gonna put your hard drive slide in and plug in the cable for the hard drive. Just push it down and that's it. Grab the bottom cover, put the bottom cover front side first and then the side and just push it down and put a screw in the last two screws. And this is how you do your own service job for your laptop HP G4 and the exact model is G4-1250. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll answer them right away or I'll try. And thank you for watching guys. Until next video.